Namaste. My name is Dr. Jay R. Anam and I am a breast cancer specialist. Today, I am here to talk to you about breast cancer surgery. So let's understand what, what do we mean by breast cancer surgery. So to simplify it, I will discuss it in three different parts. So breast cancer surgery can be divided into surgery for the breast per se, surgery for the axilla or the nodes in the armpit and a reconstructive procedure. So let's first talk about surgery for the breast. So uh, depending upon the size of the tumor, the size of the breast, the breast to tumor ratio, depending upon the wishes of the patient, depending upon the mammography finding, whether there is just one tumor or there are multiple tumors in the same breast, we decide and offer either a breast conservative surgery or a mastectomy for the patient. Breast conservative surgery means we excise the tumor with a safe margin around it so that chances of breast cancer coming back are very less. Versus mastectomy is a procedure where the entire breast is excised. Again, chances of local recurrence are really very less. So I have been asked this question multiple times. Doctor, is breast cancer surgery safe? Doctor, is breast conservative surgery safe? Doctor, what if I remove the entire breast, can I still get breast cancer? So the answer to this is that breast conservative surgery versus breast uh, mastectomy, both the procedures are equivalent. In fact, now recently we have got few trials which say that breast conservative surgery is superior than mastectomy for early breast cancers. So whatever you decide, both the procedures are really safe. As per your discussion with your doctor, you can plan for either of them. So now let's discuss about axillary surgery. Axilla also called as the armpit. So whenever we have breast cancer, it can spread to the nodes in the axilla. So axillary surgery uh, is of two types. When clinically I do not feel any nodes, when I cannot feel any nodes by my hand, when on imaging no suspicious nodes are seen, then we offer a sentinel node biopsy or axillary sampling to the patient. Second part, if clinically I can feel axillary nodes, so they can be biopsied before the surgery. A core needle biopsy can be done before the surgery itself. And we have a report in our hand that this node is positive for breast cancer. Then I need not do any sentinel node biopsy or axillary sampling. I can go ahead with axillary clearance in the same setting. Now we come to the third part the reconstructive procedure. So whenever we do a mutilating surgery on the breast, it is our duty to offer reconstruction also. As breast is a vital organ, it's, a, it's an integral organ of a lady. Uh, uh, it, is it is related to her self body image. It is related to her confidence and it is related to her dignity. So whenever a breast conservative surgery is done, a defect is formed. So to fill in that defect, we need to do a reconstructive procedure like an oncoplasty. So I will explain breast oncoplasty in detail in further videos. Also, whenever a mastectomy is done, we can still do a whole breast reconstruction for the lady. So this whole breast reconstruction can be done by using her own uh, uh, tissues, 
like the abdominal fat uh, fat fat and muscle from the back fat and muscle from the gluteal region or we can also put implants for for reconstruction i will explain these procedures in detail in my further videos uh, so that was it about breast cancer surgery we need to understand that it consists of three parts breast surgery axillary surgery and reconstruction so if you have any further doubts any queries you can please uh, email me or write down in the comment section uh, me or my team will get back to you thank you